Join us now for the wake up call with Pastor Daryl Stapleton. God, what a lovely name. There's no other name given whereby men can see, be saved except through the name of Jesus Christ. That is higher than any name. And thank God for that lovely name of Jesus Christ. Yeshua is really his name. We just want to welcome you to the Wake Up Call television program. I am Daryl and Major Stapleton are here to bring to you a blessing, be a blessing to you, bring to you the word in song and in message. And I pray that we will be a blessing, inspire, uplift you. And I want to take this time to thank all of you that are tuned this way and allowing us to come into your homes tonight or this afternoon, whenever you're watching the program. And it is certainly an honor and a privilege to minister to you. And we do not take that light. And we want to thank God for all of our supporters that support this work. Some of them gives in helping Israel. We do take money to Israel. We hand it out personally to them. Uh, we go there and we work sometimes in the, uh, the food banks areas. Uh, distribution areas uh, we go and we're involved also in helping to build uh, rocket shelters in the southern part of Israel and so you know we uh, support this work and this is the independent work we do it uh, now the Church of God if you're a member of the Church of God want to give in that process you can receive world missions but we do this also independently and so thank God, as we said, for those that stand by us, Sister Mesa Kidd is an outstanding supporter, uh, a liberal giver to this program, to this ministry. And we thank God for her for, uh, from Oak Hill up in years. Also, Brother Amos and Sister Shirley Ellis of Glenn Rogers, Sister Virginia Gail Stewart of Matheny, Sister Tammy Bailey of Sabine. And we want to remember also Reverend Regina, Brother Gilmore Harris from Harper, Sister Nancy and Brother James Gano of Beckley. Also, Brother and Sister Daryl Blankenship of Cole City. Sister Elizabeth Bragg from Gent and Sister Pat Dane on Harper. And also we want to remember Sister Linda Setliff of Wharton, the Spirit of Life Fellowship of Dunbar, West Virginia. Also Pastor Loretta Taylor uh, that pastors the Ewing Creek Community Church. We thank God for her, the fellowship, the friendship, her family, her entire congregation. And we are uh, looking forward for her being with us. Major will give you that announcement. And we are planning on having her with us uh, in the next little bit. Uh, in a few days, as soon as we give them a chance for the weather, to make sure the weather is broken and, and uh, we don't have to worry about that. 
and bring to you some television programs with her. Uh, also, Sister Gladys Dalton of North Tazewell, Virginia. And Sister Dalton, we're praying for you, and we appreciate your nice compliments, and, and thank God for you. Uh, Sister Zetty Petri of Glenn Daniels, Brother Robert, and Sister Minnie Barrett of War. Uh, we have a special friend in Bluefield, West Virginia, praying that God administer to her need. Also, Sister Betty Jane Blankenship of Hurley, Virginia. Brother Clyde and Sister Alice Ellis of Glen Rogers. And uh, let's see here, we have a couple more that supports this work. And it is the New Vision Baptist Church at White Sulphur Springs and also the New Life Church at White Sulphur Springs where Minister Wanda Adams serves there. Sister Dolores Workman of Naoma, Brother David and Sister Kathy Taylor of Clear Creek. Also Brother and Sister Ryan Lawrence of Rock, West Virginia. And Brother and Sister Stan Skagg of Chesapeake that's helped building or giving donations for the bomb shelter. And also uh, at that time, that's our main supporters but we'll make a few dedications after a while. We're going to give you another song this time. And the song is titled, Give Up. It's an old song the Happy Goodman sings. We can't sing like the Happy Goodman. You can't even, don't even try it. But thank God, I'm going to tell you, I wished I could. I'd sing to myself because they're, they were great singers. Worship the Lord with us. We try to sing, Give Up. coming to give you an announcement this time worship the Lord and pay attention we give you a special invitation to join us on any of these tours our services may God bless you as our prayer and the weather is getting better now so we'll be getting more announcements as we go on so just look for us about anywhere anytime on March the 30th at 6 p.m. Jackie Grimmett from the Free Will Baptist Church in Oceana will be our special speaker here at the Glenfort Church of God so come and be with us and then on September the 21st, here at the church is our annual homecoming, and the time is 1 p.m., and our guest speaker again will be Pastor Loretta Taylor, and our guest singers will be Mark Meeker family. So everybody seems to enjoy them. We always have a great time. Come and be with us. October the 1st through the 6th is our Holy Land Experience trip to Orlando, Florida. The price is $550 for adults, put two per room, and children is 350 staying with the parents. Price includes the best fare round trip, the rooms, tickets to Holy Land Experience, and while you're there, you can, we've told you before, you are welcome to make it your vacation. On your extra days, you can go to uh, SeaWorld, you can go to 
Disney World. Disney World, wherever there. You may have family in, in Florida and you may want to visit them, so you're welcome to do so. October 27th through November the 5th is our Holy Land Tour to Israel. This is no fake. This is a real thing. And this is a 10-day tour. And we'll be going to Petra and Beersheba and Elot. And if you want any information on this, just let us know. We'll give you the price and whatever else you need to know. And especially if you think you may want to go, go get your passport Passport. now. Yes, get it. And uh, we want to, as Major told you about their our services on April the 30th. I mean, maybe that's this coming Sunday or maybe next Sunday. And uh, with Brother uh, Pastor Jackie Grimley. And this lets the March. outside world, I mean March, uh, March uh, the 30th. And this lets the outside world know that we can fellowship, you know, and, and they can't say so that we're uh, prejudiced towards anybody. We've had black people, we've had white people, we've had young people, we've had old people. Israeli we, people. <laughs> we've had Israeli people speak here at the church. Uh, we've had, uh, you know, uh, Brother Jackie Gram- Gramley is a Free Will Baptist Church. Of course, I used to be a member there years, about 40 some years ago. And, uh, and so we've had, uh, you know, we have apostolic folks. We have the uh, only people I would not invite to preach in my podium would be replacement theology pastors or ministers. I would not invite them to preach. You can come, but I would not invite you to preach because I don't want that doctrine spread. But, uh, but outside that, we defeat I, the purpose. With it. We'd be to defeat the purpose. I'd be going against what I stand for. And so, but anyone else, we welcome you. We give you a special invitation. Come be with us. I'm going to give you one more song in the next few minutes. Sheltered in the arms of God, and we just pray it's a blessing to you and so we don't maybe we ought to give a couple of the, more of these announcements we mentioned while ago that the uh, uh, brother bill stewart of mullinsville and also brother roy and sister ruth trent that's up in years and the shut-ins are not able to go to the house of god sister trent has always enjoyed she's been a faithful servant ever since i've known her for a long time and going to the house of God, and they need a touch of God, and we want to dedicate the entire program to them, praying it's a blessing to them, and my niece, uh, Angie, and her granddaughter that enjoys the program, and to all of those that we said, there are others that have mentioned, we want to remember also Brother Tommy Knotts, his congregation at the Brenton Baptist Church there in Brenton, his whole entire congregation, to all of you out there in Wyoming County, we, we just dedicate the entire program to McDowell County, to Tazewell area, down in Virginia, all of those areas, Bluefield, uh, those areas, we dedicate the program to you and we appreciate your encouragement words. Worship the Lord with us.
I hope you enjoyed that song, Sheltered in the Arms of God. And thank God, I'm glad for the blessed hope that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to talk to you in the next few minutes, maybe 10 minutes or a little over, about the significance of Israel in prophecy. I don't know, you know, years ago in the ministry, uh, you know, and many of you have been in the work of the ministry for some time or going to church. You know, several years ago, we had a lot of people coming out with prophecy and they was doing all this prophecy teaching and so forth. But friend, let me encourage you in there. Of course, they've been some things that have come to pass, but the Word of God, if the Word of God spoke it and said it, it will come to pass, you know, you can believe that. And so, but we want to talk about the significance of Israel. Israel is very significant in prophecy in the Word of God, in our salvation, in our blessed hope that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ. And so in Luke's Gospel, in the 21st chapter, and of course, verses 20 down through 24, he said, and when they, ye shall see Jerusalem, Jerusalem can pass with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is nigh. Friend, let me encourage you, if you have been listening to the news and seeing the uh, Russia begin to move, and I, I'm not the uh, prophetic minister, I don't know that much about prophecy, I do teach about the feast of the Lord, and to me that, that is great significance about the, uh, the coming, the resurrection, the death, burial, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. But as far as in detail, when it comes to Daniel and some of these things, I, I'm not involved, you know, I, I read it, but I don't clearly have enough understanding to really go in detail about that. But I'm here to talk about this passage of Scripture because we do know that even in Daniel, it talks about the bear, which represents uh, Russia, and begins to rouse, and she begins to wake up out of her sleep, and begins uh, the crowd around. And friend, she is doing that right now. I think you, if there's ever a time that you, if you're not saved, you need to be getting saved. It, uh, you out there in television land, you that are staying home, that, uh, that are able to go to the house of God, and you that are able to worship God, and you would rather stay home and watch, uh, you know, the television and, and Jim Whack around and Debbie around, and your family's lost and they're going to hell. Friend, let me encourage you to get down to business with God. Get back in the church where you belong, where you should be, where you should never have left in the first place, and be what God wants you to be and help lead your family back to God. Amen. And so when we look at this, because we know that the time is near, our redemption is drawing nigh. And we talk about in this passage of Scripture, he says, and let them that which are in Judah, he said, flee to the mountains, and let them, he said, which are in the midst of it, depart out, and let not them that are in the uh, countries either thereto. For these shall be, the, he said, be the days of vengeance, and all things which are written uh, may be fulfilled. He goes on in this, and in the 24th verse, I want to read that because our time is running out. He said, and they they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations and Jerusalem shall be trotted down of the Gentiles until I want you to know this passage of scripture until, until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled friend let me encourage you the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled when did this take place? Now, many people preach, and there are many ministers preach on this in 1948 is when it taken place. This is not exactly, we know that Israel become a nation in 1948, but this is not that prophecy that's related to when Israel becomes a nation, uh, you know, back in 1948, uh, on May the 15th, and on May the 14th, whichever, it was May the 15th here, May the 14th there, but it's 1948, and but this is still, Jerusalem was still being trotted down by Gentiles. It was still under the control of the Jews. Jordanians. Anything that's not Jewish happens to be, uh, you know, Gentile. So it was still under Jordanian control, and they did not have, the Jewish people did not have control of it. And so, you know, this was still not the prophecy that Jesus was speaking about when he talked about the destruction of Jerusalem. And let me tell you right now, for you that are not aware, and I posted on my Facebook, if you'd like to be, you know, we try to stay up to date on the Israeli news. If you're not, if you'd like to become uh, connected to us on Facebook, you can uh, notify me, and I'll be glad to accept you, Providing you're not connected with people that use this foul language and, 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 and all this stuff, it's inappropriate because my Facebook I use as ministry. Anything that you're connected to that comes across from your scene, if you're connected with people that's inappropriate language, I will block you. I mean, I, I make no bones about it. I do not have that. And I don't care whether you're friends, uh, foes, or whoever you may be, but the Bible tells us in this passage of Scripture, and we know as we mentioned a while ago, you know, uh, the Jewish people are in Knesset now where the Jews are going to go back to the Temple Mount, and they're taking control of the Temple Mount because the Jews, the Arabs don't want the Jews up there praying when that land belongs to the Jewish race of people. 
And so the Bible says unto the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So this lets us know in 1967, I want you to know when that war broke out and all of those other five, at least five, and of course there was other nations connected to those Arab nations, Jordan, also Lebanon and Syria, and I want you to know Egypt and, and Jordan and those. And my friend, it come against the nation of Israel and their plan was to wipe it out. But God's divine plan is going to make it. That's the reason why I don't worry about those that preach replacement theology. I don't worry about you that want to boycott the nation of Israel and the Jewish race of people because I know beyond the shed of a doubt as there is a God in heaven as sure as the sun is shining and my friend the stars in heaven uh, give light and there is water in the ocean. Israel is God's chosen people and God has a divine plan and it's going to be fulfilled. I don't care what your church thinks about it, what my church thinks about it, what I think about it, what anyone else or the politicians or the White House or that gang up there on Capitol Hill think about it. God's word is going to stand. He said heaven and earth will pass away, but his word shall never pass away. And so we realize that, thank God, his word is going to stand. Yes, Israel is, my friend, very significant in prophecy. You cannot understand prophecy until you have a connection to what Israel and her place. You know, and this reason why it is so detrimental about replacement theology people, you can't have a clear understanding of prophecy when you have replacement theology. It does not connect. You really can't understand clearly this book when you uh, preach replacement theology. Why? Because that does not connect. It just does it. It's like trying to mix oil and water. It doesn't do it. And I want you to know it doesn't happen that way. And so we know, realize, if you believe in replacement, as we said these things, you're confused. And that's the reason why there are so many people out there today that are confused. But friend, when God talks, of the, when he speaks the word, take God as word. You don't, have to, you don't have to size it up and trim it up and doctor it up so people understand. Leave it alone. Preach it like it is. God said, preach the word. Be instant, eat in season, out of season, reprove and rebuke with all long suffering. And so you don't have to decorate it and give your interpretation of it and your ideology about it and what your organization thinks about it and what your theology school says about it. But it's what the Word of God says, plain and simple. If God spoke it, it will. Thank God old Shambach used to say, if he spoke it, it will come to pass. And you can bank on that. It will come to pass. And so Isaiah 68 and says, said, who, uh, 8 said, Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to come bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? Well, in night. May the 14th, 1948, there was a nation uh, that was born as recognized by other individuals. Harry Truman in the United States was the first individual that acknowledged and recognized Israel as a nation. But friend, let me encourage you that even, you know, I thought this week, oh, and I, yes, I'm involved in it and my heart's with Israel, but oh, a boss. Friend, I want you to know they have never wanted peace. They're, they're not after peace. They're not after uh, contentment. My friend, they are destructive individuals. They're a bunch of thugs. That's all they are. And so this reason why, you know, they said they would never recognize, they want Israel to recognize them. They want Israel to give up the land. And my friend, we said they don't want to recognize Israel as a nation and said it will never happen. Well, I'm here to tell you, that lion doesn't belong to the Arab-Palestinian bunch anyway. I want you to know, uh, right in Jordan, Jordan has, they said there was more by history or by news. This week, news, my friend, there are more Palestinians in Jordan, and Jordan's wanting rid of them, folks. Why? They want to ship them out. They're nothing but a bunch of troublemakers. You know, here in America, we have troublemakers in America. We have gangs. My friend, it's destructive and destroyed. Well, this is, you know, get a picture of that. That's pretty well what the uh, Palestinians, the majority of the Palestinians are. And so they're there, my friend, they're not interested in peace. They're not interested in contempt as a whole. There's some that are working, making a decent living. As a matter of fact, they're living off the nation of Israel. They're crossing over and Israel lets them cross over in the borders and they're working in factories in Israel. And then I want you to know they have to go back to their areas uh, in the West Bank. And so uh, this is reason why he said, can a nation be born at once? Indeed, there was a nation born at once. It was Israel. These things come to pass. But he said, he goes on in this. He says, for these are the days of vengeance. And he said in the 24th verse, he said until the Gentiles, my friend, until Jerusalem be trotted down by the Gentiles, that uh, the time of the Gentiles is fulfilled. Yes, air time. This reason why you're seeing this gospel go back to the Eastern world. This reason why you're seeing, you know, how, you know, we have more. If you, if you like uh, uh, Jewish programs and my friend Israeli programs, get on direct TV. There is multiple, multiple rabbis and teachers and instructors and news about Israel 
Why? Because God tells us in Ezekiel, God said, my friend, I'm going to bring them back to life. Yes, you've been buried for a long time. I want you to know, but he said, I'm going to open your graves. Oh, what a prophetic word of God that is. And friend, as I tell you so often, you don't have to read about prophecy, but thank God you can be a part of prophecy. You that work and you that support this work and this ministry and other Jewish related ministries, my friend, you're fulfilling what God desires you to fulfill. And so this, let me encourage you in my closing remark, this is what you need to be involved. If you are a church, you are a pastor, and you're not involved in helping some program that's connected to Israel, shame on you. Uh, friend, I'm here to tell you, you're in debt to those people. Romans tells us we're in debt to those, does he not? Absolutely. Friend, I want you to know you need to support them. You need to pray for them. He said if they had blessed us with the spiritual things, you wouldn't even be in a church house if it wasn't for the Jewish people. You wouldn't know what a church was if it wasn't for the Jewish people. My friend, you wouldn't know what a God was if it wasn't for the Jewish people. Are we in debt to them? Indeed, we are in debt to them. We owe it uh, to them. My friend, as we said, if they have blessed us with the word of God and we need to bless them back. The Bible says, Paul tells them in Romans, to bless them with material things that he not oh I'm here to tell you yes I love them I thank God I appreciate the support I appreciate the inheritance and I tell folks sometimes we preached that canoe a few days ago sometimes we trace our heritage down we go back to a few generations us uh, you know church folks we go back to the birth of the church 2,000 years ago when the Holy Ghost was given on the day of Pentecost but friend let me tell you this started uh, several thousand years before that when God began to speak to uh, uh, my friend uh, Abraham over in the uh, town of the uh, city of Erath the era there my friend and he told him said I want you to get out of your country my friend leave your family my friend and go to a land I'm going to show you this is when God's divine plan began to start well as for salvation we can see of course we know it was always in the creation of time thank God when God said let there be light there was always a plan and my friend it's going to be fulfilled and I want to be a part of that plan I want to be a supporter of that plan I pray God help me to advance the kingdom of God not my own not my own church not my own organization not my own uh, ideals but thank God your word Lord the kingdom of God help me to be a supporter of the kingdom of God well my time's coming go and I just pray God will abundantly bless you I am Daryl Stavon saying goodbye and until this same time next week I pray God's divine blessings upon you that you're blessed when you go out you're blessed when you come in I pray God's blessing upon you when you lie down I ask God's blessing upon you when you rise up I pray that God will give you health and strength. May this be one of the greatest years you have ever had and the most prosperous years. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, until this same time next week. Amen. Right. At the Wake Up Call, Route 10, Box 151, Matheny, West Virginia, 24860. Or call us at 304-682-5832. watching The Wake Up Call. Join us now for The Wake Up Call with Pastor Daryl Stapleton.
God, what a lovely name. There's no other name given whereby men can see, be saved except through the name of Jesus Christ. That is higher than any name. And thank God for that lovely name of Jesus Christ. Yeshua is really his name. We just want to welcome you to the Wake Up Call television program. I am Daryl and Major Stapleton are here to bring to you a blessing, be a blessing to you, bring to you the word in song and in message. And I pray that we will be a blessing, inspire, uplift you. And I want to take this time to thank all of you that are tuned this way and allowing us to come into your homes tonight or this afternoon, whenever you're watching the program. And it is certainly an honor and a privilege to minister to you. And we do not take that light. And we want to thank God for all of our supporters that support this work. Some of them gives in helping Israel. We do take money to Israel. We hand it out personally to them. Uh, we go there and we work sometimes in the, uh, the food banks areas. Uh, distribution areas uh, we go and we're involved also in helping to build uh, rocket shelters in the southern part of Israel and so you know we uh, support this work and this is the independent work we do it uh, now the Church of God if you're a member of the Church of God want to give in that process you can receive world missions but we do this also independently and so thank God as we said for those that stand by a uh, sister may so kid is an outstanding supporter uh, a liberal giver to this program, to this ministry, and we thank God for her for, uh, from Oak Hill up in years. Also, Brother Amos and Sister Shirley Ellis of Glenn Rogers, Sister Virginia Gale Stewart of Matheny, Sister Tammy Bailey of Sabine, and we want to remember also Reverend Regina and Brother Gilmore Ayers from Harper, Sister Nancy and Brother James Gano of Beckley, also Brother and Sister Daryl Blankenship of Cold City, Sister Elizabeth Bragg from Gent, and Sister Pat Dane on Harper. And also, we want to remember Sister Linda Setliff of Wharton, the Spirit of Life Fellowship of Dunbar, West Virginia. Also, Pastor Loretta Taylor, uh, that pastors the Ewing Creek Community Church. We thank God for her, the fellowship, the friendship, her family, her entire congregation. And we're uh, looking forward for her being with us. And Major will give you that announcement. And we are planning on having her with us uh, in the next little bit. Uh, in a few days, as soon as we give them a chance for the weather, make sure the weather is broken and, and uh, we don't have to worry about that and bring to you some television programs with her. Uh, also, Sister Gladys Dalton of North Tazewell, Virginia. And Sister Dalton, we're praying for you, and we appreciate your nice compliments, and, and thank God for you. Uh, Sister Zeddy Petri of Glenn Daniels, Brother Robert, Sister Minnie Barrett of War. Uh, we have a special friend in Bluefield, West Virginia, praying that God administer to her need. Also, Sister Betty Jane Blankenship of Hurley, Virginia. Brother Clyde and Sister Alice Ellis of Glen Rogers. And uh, let's see here, we have a couple more that supports this work. And it is the New Vision Baptist Church at White Sulphur Springs and also the New Life Church at White Sulphur Springs where Minister Wanda Adams serves there. Sister Dolores Workman of Naoma, Brother David and Sister Kathy Taylor of Clear Creek. Also Brother and Sister Ryan Lawrence of Rock, West Virginia. And Brother and Sister Stan Skagg of Chesapeake that's helped building or giving donations for the bomb shelter. And also uh, at that time, that's our main supporters. But we'll make a few dedications after a while. We're going to give you another song this time. And the song is titled, Give Up. It's an old song the Happy Goodman sings. We can't sing like the Happy Goodman. You can't even, don't even try it. But thank God, I'm going to tell you, I wish I could. I'd sing to myself because they were great singers. Worship the Lord with us as we try to sing, Give Up. Yeah. 